Jordan. That's the beer they got up there. Max, what did you get? Fifteen hundred. I don't know which one is which. Does it taste good? So this is my buddy Horace from New York. He's actually my roommate in college. All right, guys, I'm about to go order some beer. We'll see what I get. It's like 90 something degrees out today, but I went inside and got another uh, of the blood orange. It's actually really good. So if you guys ever come down to Atlas here in Northeast DC, make sure you guys try the blood orange um, beer. It's not too bad. Cheers. Hey guys, so right now we are at the uh, wharf in, in DC. They completed it not too long ago. It's just a strip along the harbor that has uh, a lot of bunch, a bunch of uh, seafood shops as well as uh, docks for all of these different yachts and boats out here. Pretty nice. Our buddies over here just got some ice cream. And uh, soon we're gonna get some seafood. 
So let's go get some shrimp. Right, guys behind me we got some uh, seafood uh, stalls or what are they called seafood waterfront stores we're gonna get some shrimp we're gonna get some crabs take a look take a look and uh, I'm really looking forward to the jumbo shrimp um, with some cocktail sauce you can get it raw and they cook it for you right at the store they steam it pretty nice all right guys let's see take a look around guys they actually have developed this place in the past couple of years I think about a year ago it opened up um, this is my first time here since the wharf is finished but this section of the wharf what you're looking at now actually existed for a very very long time it was just this um, up until recently they built everything that you saw previously So I've ordered seafood from uh, Jesse's before and then I've also ordered, I guess they're all Jesse's, right? I've ordered ceviche down there, which is pretty good. I feel like the other side is just more popular. The yeah, the other side is popular. A lot of people do go there. They just have a lot of options. Like here, like you look at... And they have there. gumbo here. You like gumbo? gumbo? They got gumbo here. Yeah? I mean, I, I could eat here. I just want a snack on some shrimp cocktail, some ceviche. To be frank though, like everywhere has the same quality stuff. Look at all this seafood, guys. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Hey, how you doing? I just want to try it. It's not that big. Hi. Could I get a half a pound of jumbo shrimp? A small um, clam chowder, a small seafood gumbo, and one ceviche, small. Uh, no, but can we get the cocktail sauce? Homemade ceviche. Alright, we got our food in this bag right here. So we actually ended up ordering some, uh, she didn't give us a ceviche, but that's okay. We're gonna go to dinner later, so we won't be eating that. But we did get seafood gumbo, clam chowder, uh, and jumbo shrimp. Are you excited? Totally. So well, all we gotta do now is just find somewhere to eat. Whew, it is like 100 degrees today, but you know what? We found a spot back here in front of this place called Falafel. 
hummus and falafel. Not bad. Our friends are going to join us. Um, they are currently in line, but Jordan and I are about to set up food, set up camp here. You ready for this, Jordan? All right, here's our jumbo shrimp, guys. Our seafood gumbo, our clam chowder. You ready for this, Jordan? All right, guys. Let's do this. It's kind of hard for me to eat and record, but I'm thinking I'm going to start trying it with the... Uh, the clam chowder. Oh, there's shrimp in this gumbo. Look at how big that shrimp is. No cocktail sauce? You guys, wait, hold up, how is it? It's fresh, right? And in this gumbo here, I just want to show you, it has okra in it, which gumbo should have okra. Looks pretty good. And then uh, the clam chowder, nice and thick consistency. I'm gonna try some of this gumbo here. It's not bad, it's a little more. A little bit too salty for my taste, but seafood gumbo, you know? Nice. Jordan, you're like gonna eat all the food before I even get to it. Holy crap. Look at that. It's a big shrimp. I'm gonna try this. Why am I in the bed and you're not? I go for it. How is it? I feel like this could use some salt. <laughs> so yours could use some salt, and mine's a little bit too salty. Hey guys, here's some cocktail sauce. Mmm, bro. Dude, the shrimp's actually really good. Yeah, I love the shrimp. Maybe we should have just gotten a pound of that. <laughs> One thing I do wish that was more in this gumbo is a little bit more okra and a little bit more seafood. <clears throat> it, it's just mostly a tomato-based broth or soup and not too much seafood, which kind of is disappointing because it's seafood gumbo and they didn't put that much in there. The chowder, I wish there was more like seasoning for taste and like maybe some corn. Corn? For, like texture. Yeah. What I like about the place we went to though, we can tell that the jumbo shrimp was fresh because they just kept bringing it out. Whereas a lot of the other uh, places had shrimp already sitting out. Yeah. Like they literally dumped a load of shrimp on there. I mean, you don't need a season trip necessarily, do you? You don't. They asked us if we wanted um, some Old Bay on it, but I chose not to because I want to taste the shrimp for what it is. I would have asked for Old Bay on the side. My bad. But, like I said, I like the shrimp. So. Max! So Max got steamed shrimp with Old Bay seasoning on it. How is it?
So our friends, our friends just returned finally after Max, Jordan, and I have finished our dinners. It's been three days. Yo, what took you guys so long? Can you can you tell us what took you so long? Yeah. Well, not enough. <laughs> what do you got there? And what do you got? I have a crab cake sandwich. And, and what's that? Cream crab soup. And shrimp tacos. Is it what? Well, let be honest. Is it worth the wait? I like it. I want to wait. Hold up. Hold up. Can I just see that crab cake? I don't like the ratio here, how that thing is so puny. Tomato. The tomato, yeah, the tomato's huge, well, you know, the bun's they, huge. Uh, crab cakes are a delicacy, so they're very small. How much you pay for that crab cake? This was nine dollars. Okay, that explains it. <laughs> Wait, there's no uh no proper tartar sauce or whatever the hell they put on crab cakes? Hey, remoulade, I mean. Is that remoulade? Tomato. Tartar sauce. Let's see what you got here, Julia. I see a lot of fried uh, hush puppies. Oh my God, those hush puppies are. Hush puppies are huge. Max, come look at these hush puppies. Come look at these puppies. Yeah. Oh, can you lift that shrimp up and just show us Max what that shrimp looks balls. like? Yeah. Max did have a lot of balls today. <laughs> Damn! You, you gotta take a bite of that and let me know what you think. Describe the flavors, you know? It's fried, it's crispy. How's the milk? Was it worth the wait? No. <laughs> <laughs> and how much was this box? No food was worth the wait. Like, yeah, that would have been some seriously dope food. <laughs> Wait, what's over there? Mac and cheese? Can I have a bite of that? It's fried, fried seafood. But this is how you learn. Mm. Sorry. How's the taco? Yeah. I will say the mac and cheese is kind of I mean, good. Yeah, like if it had a super not short bad. line one day when I passed Yo, by. Yo, Jordan, I'd you see these hush there, puppies? Not a long line anymore. They're huge. So actually this is a nice Saturday evening. We got the sunset that's happening right now. And then you got this 395 bridge. And then you got my friends, my lovely friends. All right guys, we're done. We're gonna head back now. Call ourselves an Uber. It's pretty hot out here, but I think we had enough seafood. We're gonna get going now. Uh,